It's that time of year again where we are going to discuss gift guides for artists and hopefully I can give you a few ideas to suit your budget for the artist in your life or if you're just looking for some inspiration for yourself on what art materials to buy. And I've got a new Christmas cardigan which I absolutely adore, it's so tacky and I absolutely love it. It's got candy canes, Christmas trees and teddy bears wearing a Christmas hat and I just really really enjoyed how tacky it was. Now I have made these types of videos in the past and I'm likely to add some things that I've really spoken about but that's only because I do honestly think that these would be amazing gifts. The first one being colouring pencils because I feel like colouring pencils are such a good gift to give. And also there are so many different brands and sets that you can find a set that would be within your price point. So you could look at getting a set that's very popular online such as the Prismacolors. These ones you can buy in different size sets. I have got the 72 set and I have enjoyed this colouring pencil set. I have taken a little while to get used to using these colouring pencils but I do genuinely enjoy using them so I would recommend the Prisma colours. However those sets can be quite pricey so there are a few other options that you could consider. So if your budget doesn't quite reach up to some of those price points you could consider getting a set like these ones here, 72 colouring pencils and this is a Zena Colour Expert series that I found on Amazon and I have tested them out and they are really nice colouring pencils but this is going to be the fraction of the price of those Prismacolor colouring pencils. So if you've got somebody that you want to purchase for and the Prismacolors might not necessarily fit your budget then you could look at getting an alternative set. I have heard really good things about the Amazon Basics colouring pencils which I am planning on purchasing and testing out soon so they could also be a really good option especially with their Black Friday sales coming up. Another set or another brand of colouring pencils that I swear by are the Faber-Castell Polychromos. I absolutely adore these colouring pencils and I do have colouring pencils that I've bought open stock by Faber-Castell and I'm a really, really big fan of these. And then another set of colouring pencils that I would recommend for something slightly different would be the Derwin Inktense colouring pencils. These are a really fun product because they are not only a colouring pencil on their own but they are water activated and they become a really intense ink finish. So this could be a really nice sort of dual present to give. So not only is it a colouring pencil, it can double up to act like an ink and then you can then go over the top of that with your colouring pencils again. These are such a fun medium to play around with and I think that if you were to give these to somebody then that would maybe open up a new medium for them and a new way of working which could be really really fun. So everything that I'm talking about in today's video I will link down in the description box and if you do purchase anything then thank you in advance because these are all affiliate links and I will receive a small commission. So thank you so much if you do choose to purchase through my links. I really enjoy using watercolours and I find that this is a really handy watercolour set to use. This is the Paul Rubens watercolour set and I've had this for quite some time now and I do really enjoy using it. I find that the colours when mixed with water become quite nice and creamy. I feel like there's no graininess with these paints when I'm using them whereas you can sometimes get that with cheaper watercolours. However, I like the formula and I think these are a nice accessible watercolour paint for a beginner and I would 100% recommend this set. It comes in a really nice gift box with a cloth and a little mini sketchbook and when it's all presented together it does look like a really lovely gift. 
They also do these in a metallic paint as well. So if you know they already have some watercolor paints, then perhaps you could get them something like a metallic paint. If you feel a bit daunted though by purchasing a set of watercolors, then perhaps you could buy them a watercolor tin. I've already added paint to mine, but you could buy them empty tin to then add their own paints to. And then that way they will be able to add all of their favorite colors into a little tin that you have purchased for them as a gift. And you could even give that with a really nice paintbrush if you wanted to. Another painting set that I think would be a really fun gift would be the Himmy gouache paints. These are really fun to work with and they do have a slight gimmick to them because they're the jelly gouache. You do have to open up each of the little cartons of paint but that can be really nice in itself setting up the palette. When you first get them they look so glossy and they're just really nice rich colours and I would recommend one of these Himmy gouache paint sets because they are such a fun product to work with. Another product that I think would make a really nice gift for somebody would be a masking fluid and also a ruling pen or maybe some masking fluid tools. Especially if it's for somebody that is wanting to get into watercolour, this could be a really nice gift for them to then experiment with with their own watercolours. Having a masking fluid and a tool like the ruling pen would help them to achieve some really nice highlights in their painting work and you can create some really nice effects with the masking fluid and I just think that this together would be a really good little stocking filler for somebody. You could also include a watercolour sketchbook like this little one I have here, it's an A5 landscape watercolour sketchbook and again I bought this on Jackson's but there are loads and loads of watercolour paper sketchbooks out there so if you know somebody that really enjoys watercolour and you know that they're a prolific watercolour artist they may go through sketchbooks like this quite frequently so you could purchase them a really nice new watercolour paper sketchbook so that they have something that they can work on in the new year and they're ready for all of their fresh new ideas. This could be another idea for somebody that does enjoy using watercolours or just art in general. Sometimes I will tape up even if I'm using colouring pencils so that I get a nice crisp line around my colouring pencil work. So I'd also recommend one of these and it was not too expensive. I think I purchased this one on on Amazon and it's just it brings me joy I love the colors and it's just very very handy paint pouring is a really fun activity you can create some really amazing pieces with paint pouring I've got these ones by Arteza which I have used and I will link the video in the description box but I have enjoyed using these. The set that I got had quite a lot of colours in there, so it was a really good way to experiment with different colourways and create lots of different pieces. So I would recommend. Another option could be to get some canvases. There are loads of different types of canvases you can buy, and you could even consider ones that are shaped. So you could think about ones like this one behind me here that I have haven't finished it's been on the side there for ages I've tried other canvases before like a star shape canvas there are lots of different canvases that you could purchase and not all of them are really really expensive either this one for instance from Jackson's that I purchased was £4.50 so you could consider getting something like this that could be used maybe with a set of paints that you are gifting and it just could be a nice additional gift an art medium that is really, really popular, it would be alcohol markers. Now there are lots of different options when it comes to alcohol markers and there are lots of different price points with the Copic markers being very expensive, which could be an option for you if you are wanting to spend that sort of money. If you're on slightly more of a budget, you could consider some other options. So I have the alcohol markers that I purchased from the works 
and these ones managed to get them and they were on offer i do believe that they're slightly more expensive than 15 pounds now i got mine for seven pounds in a sale i do think that they may have gone up to about 20 25 pounds i may be wrong but i think they are slightly more expensive than they were when i bought these ones i believe that the range also have quite a good well-priced set of alcohol markers and then of course there are places like the tiktok shop where you can get markers like this i just don't know how good they are because i've not tried them if you have tried them let me know in the comments what they are like another option for the alcohol markers would be the ohuhu markers and these ones are tried and tested they're very very popular and they are absolutely brilliant i bought mine on amazon and i really would love to get the pastel color ohuhu markers they are definitely on my list i've just got their regular set and i think that it would be an absolutely fantastic gift to give somebody especially if they're an aspiring illustrator or they spend a lot of time drawing and would like to try out alcohol markers these ones are absolutely fantastic one thing that i absolutely love is a sketchbook and i would suggest sketchbooks to anybody that maybe is unsure of what to buy as a gift this one is the stillman and burn beta series sketchbook and i have really enjoyed using this one i like the size of it i enjoy that it is a square sketchbook but the paper itself is also very nice if i had a sketchbook as a gift i would be absolutely ecstatic because i love a sketchbook and it always gets me thinking about what i can create next and i think giving a sketchbook is an amazing gift one thing that i do love purchasing is paintbrushes and I don't think you can ever have too many really good quality paintbrushes and it's something that I'm trying to build upon in my little art studio. I've been slowly purchasing myself these quill paintbrushes by Jackson. These are synthetic and they are also cruelty free and I am just a really big fan of these. I enjoy how they feel to paint with and they hold lots of watercolour and I just love the look of them. I think they're such nice paintbrushes and they feel really nice to hold. They've got a nice texture to the handle and for me i have used these over and over and over again and they still look like they're in really good condition so i would recommend these paint brushes i've also tried the raven paint brushes which look very similar and these ones are also from jackson's but these ones have got a slightly more firm bristle to the paintbrush and again they hold a lot of paint being that mop style paintbrush but i have enjoyed this one as well i would recommend the jackson's paintbrushes because i think they are such good value and they're really good quality as well so i will link some in the description box and you can filter through for watercolors acrylics to gouache there are paintbrushes for every sort of art medium i think these would make absolutely fantastic stocking fillers for anybody that is into art for sketching in their sketchbooks or for plotting out onto larger pieces you can't go wrong with a good quality sharpener or a kneadable eraser i find this to be so useful when i'm drawing on a larger scale and then to remove some of that graphite so i can then go in with watercolors or with my coloring pencils it doesn't then leave really unsightly graphite marks and then a sharpener because they always come in really handy this one that i've got is by faber castell and it is the faber castell castell 9000 and it's a double sharpener so it fits in the standard and a jumbo pencil i just think that is just a useful gift so it could make a really nice little stocking filler for somebody something that's currently on my own personal list would be a tabletop easel for when i'm wanting to work at my desk here 
or when I'm downstairs, something that is portable and easy to move around. And you can get those again in lots of different price points and they are extremely versatile. You can use them in a small space. So if the person you're buying for doesn't have a lot of room for their art supplies, then a tabletop one could be a really good option. Books make such a lovely gift and I think that there's such a huge amount of art books that you're sure to find something for the person that you are buying for. I've got a few here that I have enjoyed so I've got this one which is still like an artist that would make a perfect stocking filler. This one is all about unlocking creativity and then another one which is more sort of informative on colour theory would be this one. This one is called Colours, a workshop for artists and designers and within this book there are lots and lots of little workshops that you can do yourself. Some of them are digital, some of them are analog and require art materials. So I would recommend this book. So I think having something like this would help improve understanding and maybe give a little bit of motivation, which could be a really nice gift to give. If you know their favorite artist, maybe you could get them a book on their favorite artist, or you could even get them some art prints by their favorite artist to help inspire them with their own creativity and their own art practice. Step-by-step -step drawing books are really popular amongst some of my students. So if you've got somebody that you're buying for that's maybe a little bit younger or perhaps is just wanting to get into drawing in general, then a step-by-step -step on how to draw or how to paint could be a really good way to go. Another thing that I think think would be such a good gift would be to attend an artist talk. You could buy tickets to go along to a local art gallery and listen to an artist talk, see what events they have coming up and purchasing tickets to one of those events. And again, this could unlock some inspiration and it could help inspire them with their next project. Could be a really nice way of you doing some something together for their gift because there's a lot to be said for experiences for gifts rather than like physical gifts so I would highly recommend something along those lines. Let me know what gifts you would like to receive or what you're planning on giving. If you think there's anything I've missed off my list let me know in the comments because that would be really really useful. I hope you have found today's video useful and it's given you a few ideas on different items or different art mediums you could purchase for somebody that you know that really loves art. If you have enjoyed today's video please do give it a big thumbs up because it really does help out my channel. Also make sure you subscribe so you never miss one of my videos. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.